We'll guide you through how to use your iPad as a second monitor on both your PC and laptop using Windows. First of all, we're going to need an application for this. So go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Chrome. The application we're using is called Splashtop Wired X Display, just like so, and go and search for it. And here is the website at the top here, splashtop.com. Then you want to either get the Mac or PC version. We're using a PC, so I'll click there and it will then go and start downloading. And then all you need to do is go and open up the installer from your browser or you can go and open it up in your file explorer. Here it is in my downloads folder. So what I'll do is go and double click on it and we'll just go and install it like you would any other application. I've now gone and installed it. And now what we need to do is go and get the Splashtop app on our iPad. So go and open up the app store like so, go and click on search. And then what you want to do is go and type in Splashtop. And then here is the app here, Splashtop Wired X Display. So go and click on it and we can go and download it. And just while we wait for it to download, you will also need to connect your iPad to your computer. So all you need to do is go and grab its cable, plug one end into your computer and the other end into your iPad. When you plug it in, you'll need to go and trust it as well. And you'll need to go and enter your password as well to do this. Once you've trusted it, we can now go and open up the Splashtop app like this. And then as you can see, my screen sort of changed a bit. And just like that, it's now gone and started displaying my screen on my iPad just here. So what we can do is go and customize these settings. You can change some settings in Splashtop here, but for now, I'll just minimize this and then right click on my desktop and go and click on display settings. And then as you can see, we can see my two displays. This is my main monitor here and this is my iPad. And what you can do is choose if you want them to be extended or duplicated and you can change the position as well. So as you can see, I've got my main monitor here and my iPad below it. So what I then do is go and position it below it like so, because now I can go and drag applications onto it just like so. And that's it. As you can see, I could then go and have, say, a separate Word document on here or just like a video playing. I can literally do whatever I want with it. And yeah, it's that simple to go and use your iPad as a second monitor. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.